It's Ma. Maybe you need a lesson in manners, young man. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. No, it was him or me. I was protecting all of you. Hi, I'm beautiful and welcome back. If you're new, welcome. We are continuing as does fall, y'all. We are on part three, okay? If y'all thought part two had a shocking ending, just wait till y'all see part three, okay? Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that sub button if you're not already subscribed. And I hope y'all enjoy part three, y'all, because the story just gets better and better. All right. Get him out of here. All right, y'all, so a lot happened at the end of part two. If y'all didn't already watch part two, make sure y'all go watch part two before y'all continue watching this, okay? Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just gone. I know, but you- Shut up. Just take her body in the back. What an ugly, ugly night. So we saw them kill Dale. She was right there, in one of the police cars. She's safe, right? There's somebody watching her? I wouldn't trust the police to watch the tide come in. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. God, what am I gonna tell Ash? Poor kid. there you knew what was gonna happen didn't you no of course not he was my baby brother I was there the day he was born at least he went on fighting Joyce you executed her you want the awful truth life is war people die and it's not up to them when it happens Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sheriff, better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Uh. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? <sighs> oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. You were supposed to look after him. 
So did she know about this plan all along? Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero... drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? No. Go on. You think my Dale had it coming, don't you? No one deserves to die. Not like that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Grabbing our guns. And he was out there when Dale took the bullet. Says he didn't know, but... Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? To warn her or not to warn her about the pager? I don't know if we can trust her, y'all. Deal. Good. Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Vince, I saw the pager. Where'd you get that? It's from the sheriff. Vince, that's very, very dangerous. If you get caught, or he asks you to put yourself at risk. He's a bit brazen, I'll admit. But he's still our best chance of getting out of here. Brazen? Vince, he has a personal grudge. Personal. He's gonna shoot first and ask questions later. He can shoot first all he likes, as long as he doesn't shoot us. Hmm. You think Zoe will be okay? After going through all of this? She's got a lot of fight in her for someone so little. <laughs> I think she gets it from you. Some of the moves you've pulled tonight, I think we can both take the credit. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. What do you want? Um, I need to use the bathroom. Figured you'd want to stand guard or something. You first. <sighs> so, uh, Jay, what's that sent for anyway? John? Jeremy? Nothing. That's just my name. Go on. I'll stay here. That book you have. Huh? Can I see it? this why we just gonna act casual because jay is kind of weak I and i feel like if we tell him anything all he gonna do Especially is tell his brother so we ain't even gonna take our chances uh, tropical oh, ones, today. like the humming dragon there's no such thing as a humming dragon yeah here i'll show you huh. some kind of hiding place where'd you get this it belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I don't know. 
Maybe in the truck. I need to tell Tyler. No, wait. Don't do that. <sighs> Why not? Because he's gonna say it's your fault. You saw how pissed the sheriff is. What if it's all about this book? It's not my fault. Tyler and Ma are the ones who planned all this. Look, let's just keep this between us. We'll go to the truck, find what was inside, and no one has to know. Please. If I take you out there and you try anything, I won't. I swear. We'll go to the truck and come straight back. <sighs> Fine. Thank you. You're doing the right thing, Jay. For your family, too. I promised Ma we'd fix his roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. timber you got there uh, ain't softwood so you saying you got hard wood that's right hey Tyler says he's got hard wood <laughs> maybe you need a cold shower I don't <laughs> <laughs> look at his face I almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> should have known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh, hey, wanna get high? Nah, still got some shit to unload. You ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? Yeah, I see him. I'm watching the birds sometimes. Looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa. What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, 
You ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? I, uh, caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. some business acquaintances of your father's. <sighs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. This is private property. You need to go, sir. <laughs> Maybe you need a lesson in manners, young man. I'm here on a matter of urgency. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Not in the house. Now why would you care? Your house may seem clean, but even I can see it. You're just one poker game short of being trailer trash. We ain't trash. We're decent folk. Aren't. Not ain't. They'll drag you down with them, you know. Now you hear this. If your pa 
doesn't pay his gambling debt with interest. Owing money will be the least of his troubles. Understand? That's got nothing to do with us. It's his problem. All the same, this problem isn't going away. After me, others will come. And they like to shoot first, smoke later. If you catch my drift. That watch on your wrist, valuable, is it? Why? I'm not leaving without my down payment. Uh, you give me that watch, and I'll buy you some time. Come on. Hand it over. Uh, I... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Perhaps you're the good apple of the bunch after all. <laughs> Gabe! I forgot my damn watch! Hey! told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss-stinking hole you crawled out of. <sighs> You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. Okay, y'all, so the daddy got a bad habit and he got people coming after his family, which can't be good. You let that piece of shit intimidate you? In your own home? The fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Sorry? What does that mean? Jay, where's the watch? I gave it to him. Uh, I was trying to help. Oh, uh, for Jesus Christ's sake, can I trust you to do nothing right? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? <sighs> For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. <sighs> he said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, bear. <sighs> How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? <sighs> even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. Is it just me, or do more cars keep arriving? Nah, he's just moving them around. Probably saw them do it on cops. Or he's three steps ahead of you. He played chess in high school, you know. You ready? Yeah. Where'd you park your truck? It's in a shed, out back. Whew. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Me turning off the lights. Halfway there. There. Huh? 
Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Disgusting. There you are. Have a... Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. Can't you just buy a ticket on a Greyhound and get out of here? I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me, said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop The it. daddy is hiding some. Mm-hmm. Grandpa hiding some. We don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna find out. What are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. This is uh, just. N <sighs> Ma, you better look at this. He's been talking to the sheriff. Vincent, give me the book. Look, if I don't give him what he wants. <clears throat> What is all this? Just can't believe you wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here just got himself caught. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the guy.
goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. You doing okay? Better now. We all agree. How about you? <laughs> Scared. Me too. <sighs> Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? We have to stay focused on what's happening right now. On keeping our heads down and getting back to Zoe. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. We can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. You even realize how far past go. I've been thinking a lot too over the last few days, I'm and sorry, Jay. there's no going back now. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night when you when I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. 
She used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his mom. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. Get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it. Now pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He had my pappy's watch. I tried to get it back, but stubborn son of a bitch, he refused. He attacked me, and I hit him I, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. dead because you killed him. No, it was him or me. I was protecting all of you. I know you don't want to, but we can't go back now. Please, son, for me. He said if I gave him the watch, they'd give us more time to pay. With interest? Oh, these people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. Uh, I should never have given it to him. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. One day, it'll be yours. See if he's still got it on him. I don't know if I can do that. Pa. You're the one who gave it away. Now you can get it back. Search him. <laughs> ah. Got it. Good. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Yeah. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. 
Think of your mom. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Please. Oh, help shit. We gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. <clears throat> Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. <sighs> Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. <sighs> I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. 
I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you're right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. My pa, I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, You'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. The mama. The mama put them up to this. She put her own boys up to this? Oh my god, y'all, it's going down up in there. Ma, there's too many of them. We gotta get to the truck. Michelle! Jim! Over here! Lynch, we need you! Jim, where's Michelle? Look! Oh, Hold your fire! Come out with your hands over your heads! What? So you can kill us too? <sighs> I'm gonna get you out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Ma, it's over. We can't win.
please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. <sighs> oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? All good. Keep going. We're not safe yet. Over there! The window! Come on. Mother... Oh! Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Vince, wait. If I don't make it, you're gonna be fine. Grab my hands. Here we go. All right, time to jump. No fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? mess. What? Get your journal back? No, Vince. What I did was change the conversation. How could I know the Holtz would turn the whole place into a barbecue? I took messages from you, snuck around behind their backs, and you ended like this? It's complicated. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Stand by for a minute. Look, I appreciate you trying to help. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than to ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. So, let's call it even, shall we? Fuck you. On second thought, maybe I will take you in for questioning. All we needed was a place to hide. And now my brother's dead! That wasn't my fault. You think you're Bruce Willis, huh? Undercover, fighting off bad guys? Well, guess what? You're just an overweight, middle-aged nobody who should have shut up and stayed out of it.
Let him go. It's over. Okay? It's done. No, it ain't. Shoot him, Jay. Do it! What are you waiting for? He would have killed me. I'm your family. Your family! If you do this, you'll be a murderer. Is that really what you want? Jay, give me the gun. No! Get off me! Zoe. No, no, I got you out of here. You're supposed to be in the car. The policewoman disappeared, and I wanted to find you, so I crawled into the gate. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please. I don't want to go. Wait. You need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, uh, we gotta go. Wait, look. Look. I'm the lawyer, but in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. God, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. I love you, Zoe. Oh, oh, all the way to the moon. Sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. It wasn't always like that, you know? It's strange where life can take you. Jay, 
eyes on the road. <sighs> the place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. What do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go to now, was I expecting all that to happen? I was not. Okay, so they got away from the motel, y'all, but now they got the cops on. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm hoping that they made it past that train right there, but we're gonna have to see in the next, <laughs> the next part. I really don't know what to expect. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I almost cried at the end listening to her talk. That is Zoe, right? We're gonna say it so. Oh my gosh. If y'all enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and stay tuned for part four. It's coming very soon.